That retrial of polo mogul John Goodman for DUI manslaughter. A key witness on the stand Wednesday, the nurse who took his blood sample, showing he was well over the legal limit. His defense pressed hard on how she handled those samples, and ABC's Matt Gutman has the story. First, they blamed his Bentley. Now, polo mogul John Goodman's defense team questioning the results of his blood alcohol test, taken three hours after the crash that killed 23-year-old Scott Wilson. The test, administered by nurse Cecilia Betts, showed Goodman was more than twice the legal limit to drive. For two days, the defense grilling Betts. First, getting her to admit she didn't use the needle provided with the testing kit, which the defense says could have skewed the results. Now, accusing her of changing her story. Until approximately two weeks ago, you did not make anyone aware of the fact that you could have been mistaken about the gauge needle that you stated that you used. And mishandling the blood samples. You didn't invert the tubes immediately after you do the blood, did you? Also Wednesday, a surprise twist. The prosecution recalling Goodman's girlfriend, who the multimillionaire famously tried to adopt, allegedly to protect his wealth. Uh, On Monday, Heather Hutchins I'm testified really, that I, she I drove not. Goodman to a Miami hospital the night after the crash because he was woozy and nauseated. On Wednesday, the state refuting that with a medical document stating Goodman's complaint was chest pains. You never even told this jury on Monday that he complained of chest pains, did you? I don't remember. Goodman's alleged injuries important because the defense claims he wasn't drunk but disoriented from a head injury. The odor of an alcoholic beverage was coming out of his pores like he was sweating it out. But when asked if he noticed any odors in Goodman's wrecked Bentley. No, I did not. Goodman has pleaded not guilty. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami.